Hey everybody, let's play daily number five, and this is actually a little bit of gameplay of one of the new Dark Below DLC maps, uh, Crucible maps, included, uh, well, yeah, included in the Dark Below DLC for 20 bucks. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with this Let's Play series, I check out a new game or a new mode or something like that every day and do a little Let's Play commentary on top of it. Um, and actually, normally I do things like uh, promote you know, the Amazon affiliate link or ask you guys to like a video or like this video at the start of a video. But today, actually, I'm going to do a little something different. Um, we have our first sponsor lined up for these Let's Play Daily videos. And um, I'm going to include a link in the description to tomorrow's Let's Play Daily video. I'm just going to keep it unlisted. I'm going to have it actually go public tomorrow. But... Um, it would mean a lot to me if you guys checked out that video, listened to what I have to say about the sponsor. It's an electronics retailer. They're holding a competition to give away a TV and uh, having you guys like use the affiliate code and do the competition and all that. It. If you guys watched a lot of my Let's Play or my, my Daily Destiny series, I think it was about the number 20 mark. Uh, I talked about going out to Los Angeles and uh, being flown, let me rephrase that, I was flown out to Los Angeles to play Dragon Age Inquisition ahead of time by EA. They were incredibly generous um, and they spent their money to fly me out there to play that game and uh, preview it and put out a couple preview videos. And, and during the Daily Destiny video, I was talking about, or I talked about uh, how I wanted to do a really good job. Uh, with that preview opportunity that I had. And uh, and I also talked a lot about some of the other shitheads that were at the event that were just like not taking it seriously, that were just like fucking... They, they're basically uh, not taking advantage of this insane opportunity that they were given. And I wanted to do everything I could to take as much of an advantage of the opportunity. And it actually ended up paying in spades uh, because EA then... They contacted, let's see, I think two YouTube channels out of their entire Rolodex of YouTube channels that that makes gaming videos uh, and that they sponsor, which is which they told me was in the multiple hundreds. They contacted me and one other channel to do a couple super early access. Uh, I, I haven't talked about this anywhere yet. Um, so, I mean, that's the subject of today's video. Uh, they contacted me and one other channel to make early guide videos for Dragon Age Inquisition. And uh, they gave me access in this one other channel, Lady Insanity, I believe it was her name. Um, uh, this crazy early access to make some tutorial videos for Dragon Age Inquisition. And, you know, that's directly because of the work that I did with that other preview event. And... Uh, so, and, you know, directly thanks to a lot of you guys who have supported the channel with all my Daily Destiny videos and, you know, uh, all the stuff that I've done over the years. And um, it, it worked out insanely well. So what the roundabout thing that I'm trying to say is, is this, uh, this sponsored video that is going public tomorrow is a very unique opportunity and <laughs> like I talked about what video was it the let's play daily number three I read I read someone's comment where he said you shouldn't beg for likes uh, having sponsorships I don't fucking need to beg for likes it's fucking amazing it's they they're they're paying me uh, I'm not gonna say exactly how much but um, what's a good way to put it I, I, I like the currency of Chipotle's. Uh, it's about uh, 20 Chipotle's, including chips and guac. So uh, let's just say that. They're for, to fucking, for me to just say, hey, check out this contest. So shit like that, my God. Like I've had uh, five opportunities like that in the entire 13,000 videos that I've posted to this channel. Um, I like talking business. I don't know if you guys realize that. I fucking love talking business. Um, maybe you guys want to hear more about Destiny and what I think about this map, but business is on the mind. Um, so this map is... I, this is a completely unsymmetrical map. Oh, not completely unsymmetrical. Um, but this 
there aren't a whole lot of maps like this in this game. Most of the maps in most... Actually, you know what? Call of Duty actually does a really good job of not having every single map be symmetrical. A uh, Bungie, they rely heavily on symmetrical maps or asymmetrical maps or... Uh, shit, I'm drawing a blank on the names of all the different types of symmetry, but... Um, most of Bungie's maps are symmetrical, and I don't think this one is symmetrical. I could be wrong. Uh, it's if, if it isn't, it's designed... Oh. Wow, look at that. Freaking shoot one guy in the back with my golden gun getting knifed right in the guts by a fucking blade dancer. God, I hate the blade dancers. Um, and I, I, I like these oddly designed kind of random maps. There's so much more fun there. Like, and especially when there's not, you know, dramatic uh, height differences, they're really fucking fun. Um, God damn, with the huge maps in this game, with the with the two or no three now outdoor maps, crucible maps that have vehicles, there's nothing like. I wonder if Bungie could just recreate Blood Gulch. Like, it's such a simple design. Fucking two bases, kind of a little uh, little crook, a little uh, bend, a little banana shape, so that you can't see one base from the other, or maybe a little uh, hump in the middle. Like, why the fuck? Isn't there like a just a simple, straightforward blood gulch map in this? Or capture the flag? Why the fuck isn't capture the flag in this game? Anyway, um, I think they did a pretty bad job designing the big maps in this game. But I think a lot of these smaller maps, in particularly, in particular, not particularly, uh, this map here, I really like. I wish I got to play it more in the free for all playlists, um, and um, and in the team deathmatch playlists. Oh, where was I going with this? Yeah. I think the smaller map designs are fantastic in this game. I wish they had more, just because it feels repetitive at times. Um, hey, look at that, first place. Um, but they they really kind of screwed the pooch with the big... So this is an asymmetrical map, I believe. Or is it just a symmetrical? I gotta fucking look up asymmetrical versus symmetrical. Oh, asymmetrical. Nope. I don't know my my symmetrical words. Fuck me, I've been saying the wrong thing the whole time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so actually, I have a podcast recommendation for you guys today. Um, I've mentioned it quite a few times before, but I'm a big fan. Uh, it's I think it's actually still listed as the Opie and Anthony podcast on the iTunes store. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, Bobby Lee was uh, the guest on the show and he's this insane stand-up comedian just fucking completely crazy and uh they actually had a, a very brief discussion about destiny and uh Zer showing up on the weekends and it, it just like completely completely blew my mind because i was sitting there like working on something else i was like like listening to him talk about having to ask his girlfriend to go buy something from Zer because he was on tour doing something else and it was just like one of those complete like what the fuck is that what the fuck is he talking about moments like oh i know exactly what he's talking about <laughs> like this is that's just fucking crazy i mean he, he's just a completely insane guy you would never in a million years think that this dude that has had tons of crazy drug problems and you know was on mad tv for quite a few years and one of the funnier stand-up comedians out there and crazier comedians out there. Like, what the fuck is he doing calling his hot girlfriend to to ask her to go buy a new gun from Zer or whatever the fuck it was that he had her buy? Uh, so, yeah, check out that The Opie and Anthony Podcast or maybe listed as The uh, Opie and Jimmy Show. I'm not sure. It seems like they've been taking their sweet time on changing the branding on that since Anthony left. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out that sponsored video and uh, game on.